Hi, I'm Keshava from Keshava Raza Yoga and welcome to our second blog video. It will be another question from one of our certified yoga teachers. So I'll just read the question. <clears throat> A lady was saying that after the plow pose, she was feeling pain in the lower back and uh, uh, let's focus on that aspect of the question. Um, the plow pose um, is the posture where we take the legs over our head. We can look at that as another type of a forward bend because actually um, the, we can do a forward bend in a few ways related to the ground and power of gravity so either by sitting straight and leaning forward standing and uh, moving down toward the ground or lying on our back and bringing the legs over and it's a type of forward bend so if we look at um, sensitive points in forward bend one of the most uh, sensitive points is the lower back and especially for people that has um, tense gluteal and hamstring uh, gluteal are the buttocks and the hamstrings are the muscles behind the thighs because in the moment those muscles are tight and we try to make any type of a forward bend it will pull my lower back that means that the sensitive point will be the lower back and for that I recommend to do any type of forward bend with bent knees first bend knees first bring the upper body closer to your thighs to your knees and only then try to straighten your legs so I show I will show you a short video where I explain the types of the plow and the effect and the way I recommend to do the plow. Uh, I will first do the regular plow and then I'll show the modification. The regular plow we are coming up with a straight leg, taking straight leg over the head, interlocking the fingers and staying in the plow. In the modification I will do exactly the same but I'll show you uh, the bending of the knees and the sensitive points on the lower back because of tension in hamstring or gluteal buttocks and the muscles behind the leg. As you can see, I keep my knees bent and then by eliminating the tension behind the legs and buttocks from the lower back, I can comfortably adjust the gentle stretch of my upper back and neck as interlocking the fingers into the plow. And I have all the time in the world to slowly, slowly lengthen my legs to a comfortable, beautiful, pleasant stretch. And I will straight my legs only according to the ability of my body without pulling the lower back. So as you saw in the second time, is what I recommend. Usually when I'm not sure about the tension of the student uh, behind the legs, usually you see it through the warm-up and the flow, you already can notice uh, the conditions of the students regarding tension behind the legs and gluteal. Um, in the moment you are aware that people have tension, you start the movement to the plow with bent knees. 
So that's the answer to our second question, our second video blog. Um, you're most welcome to send us your questions regarding the yoga practice or yoga philosophy to info at keshavaradayoga.com. If you don't like to be mentioned by name, you can just um, write to us not to mention you and we just read a question and give the answer. Thank you very much and Namaste.